Okay, so this is long overdue, so let's go ahead and just finish up Shisui as a Minecraft pixel art. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start off with the oak planks, so let's go ahead and start off with the oak. And all we, yeah, all we have to do is just the face, don't we? Okay, so we're going to move all the way up here to the top right corner of the large empty space that we still have left. And we're going to go ahead and find these two block of coals that we have going down here. They're underneath the five block of wools uh, that we had here going across. So go back to these two block of coals, starting from the bottom block on the left. So from there, we're going to be adding three oak planks going to the right. Or, not to the left. That's one, two, three. First mistake of the video. Coming back. Alright, so now that we have our three oak planks going to the left like this, what we're going to be doing next is placing six blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Head back over, get rid of that placement. Now we're going to head back. And we're going to be placing a linked four blocks going across on the lower level to the left. A linked four. So that's one, two, three, four. And it should be looking exactly like this so far. Now, once you've done that, we're going to quickly switch over to the black wool for this next part. Now, with the black wool starting on the left side of these four oak planks, so from there, we're going to be adding three blocks going to the left. That's one, two, three, and it should look like this. Now, once you've done that, we're going to start underneath the middle block of these three black wool. So from there, we're going to be adding four blocks going to the left. So that's one, two, three, four. Once we've done that, we're going to be placing a linked four blocks going across on the lower level to the left. A linked four. So that's one, two, three, four. And again, it should look exactly like this. Now, while we're here, let's go back over here to the right. And we're going to be filling in only this empty space that's right here with the black wall. So just fill this in with black. There we go. And then once we've done that, we're going to switch back over to the oak planks, and we're going to head over here to the right, and we're going to be filling in these two empty spaces here on the right side of these two uh, with the oak planks. So let's go ahead and fill these in with the oak. So everything should look exactly like that. Okay, so now that we've got that, what we're going to be doing next is, let's stay with the oak for now, just for a little bit. And we're going to head back over here, going back to these four black walls that I had to place starting underneath the middle block of these three blocks. So going uh, to these four, starting on the left side of it. So from there, we're going to be adding 13 oak planks going to the left. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's 13. 13 oak planks going to the left like that. And once we've done that, we're going to uh, go back over here to the right. And we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the oak planks. So let's go ahead and just fill this in with oak. There we go. Once we've done that, we're going to head back over here to the left, and we're going to switch over to the black wool now for this next part. So let's switch over to the black. So now, starting on the left side of these 13, so from this block, with the black wool, we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. So that's one. Now from this one block, we're going to be placing four blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three, four. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. So everything should look exactly like this. Next, we're going to be switching back over to the oak planks. And with the oak planks, let's head back over here to this one black. Well, we're going to start on the left side of it. So starting from there, we're going to be adding 18 blocks going to the left. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 blocks going to the left. So it should look exactly like this. Of course, go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare or to catch up. So what we're going to be doing next is placing three blocks going to the going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two sets of threes going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, two. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back up here, and we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's uh, one and two. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this. Now, once we've done that, let's just quickly switch back over to the black wall. And with the black wall, let's head back over here. Going back to these first three oak planks that I had you place going across on the lower level. Uh, we're going to start underneath the middle block of it. So from there, we're going to be placing one black wall. So that's one. From this one block, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. 
Next, we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, th two, and three. Next, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one and two. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now remember to go ahead and pause the video when you need to just to make sure it looks exactly like this. Because now we're going to be switching over to the oak planks. And with the oak planks, we're going to be filling in the two empty spaces that we left behind between the black wool and the oak. So let's fill these in with the oak planks now. Let's fill all of this up. And then once we've done that, we're going to uh, move back over here to the right. So once you're done filling it in, it should look like that. We're going to move back over here to the right. And we're going to finish his eye over here to the right. And we'll do the left. And then we'll just do the filling in part. So to do that, we're going to, let's say, switch back over to the black wool now. And we're going to head back to where we left off with his eyebrow going down here. We're going to go back to these linked four black wools, starting from the left block, so from there. We're going to be placing four sets of twos going, or not, yeah, it's four sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. Four sets of twos, so that's one, two, one. And one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two, four. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Let's head back over here to the left, and from here we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now there is something I do want to show. I'm not sure if I showed this before. I think I showed it in the last part. Not sure. Let me fly all the way back. You can see that we have Sasuke over there to the left. We got Itachi over there to the right. I'm not sure if I showed that, but if I didn't, well, here it is now. All right, so now we're going to have Shisui in the center. All right, so now that we've got the black wool outline for the top part of his eyebrow done, what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the oak plank. And with the oak plank, uh, starting from this one black wool, so from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two. And by the way, if you guys are wondering, I do already have a tutorial out for Itachi. Same thing goes for Sasuke. Those are already completed tutorials. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing from these two, starting on the left block of these two, so from there, we're going to be placing one block going down to the left, so that's one. And once we've done that, we're going to go back again to these two oak blocks. So we're going to start from the right block, so from this block, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right, that's one. Next, we're going to be switching over to the black wool, and with the black wool starting underneath this one oak plank, so from there, we're going to be adding just one black wall underneath it, so that's one. And now from this one block, you're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. Next, we're going to head back up here, starting, going back over here, starting from this one oak plank on the right side of it. So from there, we're going to be adding two black walls going to the right, so that's one, two. Next, switch over to the oak plank, starting on top of the right block of these two black walls. We're going to be placing one oak plank, so that's one. Switch back over to the black wall, starting on the right side of the oak. So from there, we're going to be adding two blacks going to the right. So that's one, two. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the oak plank, starting on the right side of these two oaks. We're going to be, or these two black walls, we're going to be adding one oak plank. That's one. And now on top of the right block of these two black walls, so from there, we're going to be adding one oak plank. That's one. Next, switch back over to the black wall, starting on the right side of this oak plank that we just placed, so from there, we're going to be adding three black holes going to the right, that's one, two, three. Next, you're going to switch back over to the oak, starting on top of the right block of these three, so from there, we're going to be adding two oaks going to the left, that's one, two. And now we're going to be switching over to the black hole, starting on the right side of these two oak planks, so from there, we're going to be adding seven blocks going to the right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the sand block. So let's switch over to the sand, and we're going to head back over here on the left block of these seven black walls, so on top of it, so from there, we're going to be adding two sand blocks going to the right, so that's one and two. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching back over to the black wool, and with the black wool, we're going to fill in these empty spaces here. These empty spaces in between the black wool and some of the oak planks that we just placed here. So let's fill in all of these empty spaces here with the black wool. There we go, and I'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this. 
Now, once you've done that, you're going to be switching back over to the black wool. We're going to head over here to the left. We're going to do some outlining with the black. So going back down here to the left, going back to this one oak plank. From here, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left. So two diagonal. That's one and two. Let's get rid of those placements. Now, starting from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. Next, we're going to be placing 11 blocks going down on the left. 11. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's head back up here. And we're going to go back to the bottom block of these two. So going back to these two, this time we're going to go down on the right. So starting from there, the bottom block of the two, we're going to be placing 4 blocks going down on the right. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. And it should look like this. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. Once you've done that, you're going to quickly switch over to the oak plank. And from this one black hole, we're going to be placing one oak plank going down to the right. That's one. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching back over to the black wool. We're going to head back up here, going back to the four black wools that we had here going down the right. This time we're going to start from the top block of the four. So from this block, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And it should look like that. So once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to switch over to the placement block. And we're going to head back down here, going back to that one oak plank that we placed here, down to the right. Underneath it, we're going to be adding one placement block, so that's one. And then switch back over to the oak, starting on the right side of the placement. So from there, we're going to be adding four oak planks going up. So that's one, two, three, four. Let's go back down here, get rid of the placement. And now starting from the bottom block of these four oaks, so from here on the right side, we're going to be placing a linked two blocks going down on the right. A linked two. So that's one and two. It should look like that. Alright, let's go back up here, going back to the top block of the four oaks, so from this block, we're going to be placing four blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three, four. Let's head back up. And from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. Once you've done that, we're going to quickly switch over to the sand blocks, it just, or not the sand, the white wall. Let's switch over to the white wall, starting from the bottom block of these two oaks on the right side. We're going to be adding just one white, so that's one. And then once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the black wall. We're going to do a little outlining here. And now with the black wall, starting from the top block of these two oak planks, so from this, whoops, so from this block right there, we're going to be placing five blocks going diagonal up to the right, so five diagonal up to the right, so that's one, two, three, four, and five. Let's get rid of these placements. Now once you've done that, you're going to be placing four blocks going across on the upper level to the right, so that's one, two, three, four. Next, we're going to be placing 13 blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's fly over, get rid of the placements. Then we're going to fly back. And now from here, we're going to start on top of the right block of the 13. So starting from there, we're going to be placing a linked set of two sets of twos. A linked set of two sets of twos. So that's 1, 2, 1, and 1, 2, 2. Very simple and easy, even though it sounds confusing. A linked set of two sets of twos. Okay, so now starting on top of the right block of these two black walls. So from there, we're just going to be adding one black wall. So that's 1. And it should look like that. And now starting underneath the right block of these 13 blacks. So from there, we're just going to be adding one black wall underneath the right block of the 13. So just put one black wall there. And now from this one black wall, we're going to be placing three sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back down. 
And from here, we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. Now from this one block, we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three. Next, we're going to be placing 10 blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Fly over, get rid of the placement block, head back over here to the left. And now we're going to be placing th uh, 3 blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's 1, 2, 3. And it should be making contact with the white wall there. So once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be switching over to the stone. Let's put away the oak planks for now. I want to make some room for the eye colors that we're going to be using. So just have in your quick inventory, we're going to switch over to the stone block. We're going to be needing the, uh, let's see, we're, we are going to be needing the snow, the light gray wall. We already have the white wall. Uh, for now, we're just going to be needing these blocks. And you know what, let's do the eye color too. We're going to be needing the blo uh, the redstone block and the nether brick. And I believe that's it. That's all we're going to be needing right now for this entire eye that's right here. Let me just double check. Uh, we are going to be needing the gray wall, but let's do that now. Let's just switch over to the gray wall so we can put that away and make some more room. Actually, we don't need the sand. Let's put away the sand. I'm so in in indecisive right now. Uh, there we go. All right, so these are the blocks I want you to have in your inventory for the eye. And we'll do it in like color coordinate. I'm sorry guys, I'm taking so much time up. Just because I want to be organized. Believe me, if I'm organized it goes a lot easier. Or it goes by a lot faster and easier for me to instruct you. Okay, so that's all you're going to be doing right now for the eye. The black wool, the gray wool, the stone block, the light gray wool, the white wool, the snow block, the red block, or the red stone block, and uh, the nether brick. So these are the blocks we're going to be needing right now. We're going to start off with the gray wool. We're going to head back up here, going back to the four black wools. We're going to start underneath the left block of the four. So starting from there, we're just going to be adding one gray wool. So that's one. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the stone block. And from this one gray wool, we're going to be placing one stone going down to the left. That's one. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the light gray. And we're going to be placing one light gray wool going down to the left. That's one. And now starting underneath this light gray, so from there, we're going to be adding two light grays going to the left. So that's one and two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing one light gray going down to the left. That's one. And it should look exactly like this so far. Next, we're going to be switching over to the black wall. Let's head back up here, back to that one gray wall, starting on the right side of it. So from there, we're just going to be adding one black wall. So that's one. And we're also going to be adding one black wall underneath the gray wall. So that's one. Once we've done that, starting from this one black wool, we're going to be placing four black wools going down on the left. That's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. So two diagonal. That's one and two. Now we're going to quickly switch over to the light gray wool, starting from this one black wool here on the left side of it. So from there, we're just going to be placing one light gray wool. So that's one. And then we're going to be switching back over to the white wool. Now with the white wool, we're going to be filling in this empty space that's right here with the white wool. So let's fill this in with white. And it should look like this. Now that we've done that, we're going to quickly switch over to the nether brick. And with the nether brick, we're going to head back up here. We're going to fly back to these four black wools that we had going across. We're going to start on the right side of it. So starting from there, we're going to be adding one nether brick. So that's one. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the black wall, starting on the right side of this nether brick. So from there, with the black, we're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal down to the left. Down to the left, not right. Left. Four diagonal. That's one, two, three, and four. So that's four black walls going diagonal down to the left. And once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two. And now we're going to switch back over to the nether brick, and we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the nether brick. So fill this in with nether brick. There we go. Next, we're going to be switching over to the blo the block of redstone. I don't know what to call it. It just sounds weird calling it block of redstone. It's just the redstone block. 
with the official name Block of Redstone, but I feel like Redstone Block is a lot better. So switching back over to the redstone block, we're going to start underneath the left block of these two black holes. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going to the right, so that's one, two. Next, place one block going down to the right, that's one. And now place two blocks going down the right, that's one and two. Once you've done that, you're going to be filling in this empty space that's right here with the redstone. So let's fill this in. There we go. And once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the black holes. Going back over here, back to these two redstones that we had going down the right, starting on the right side, bottom block of it. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. Oops, used the wrong block there. And now we're going to be switching back over to the, uh, let's see, nether brick. And we're starting on top of this black hole down here. So from there, we're just going to be placing one nether brick. So that's one. Once you've done that, switch back over to the black wall, and we're going to head back to this one block. So from there, where we left off, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. So that's one, two. Whoops. Up on the right, not cross. Up. So it should look like this. That's one, two. Okay? So once it looks like this, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. Going across, so that's one, two. And now we're going to quickly switch over to the nether brick for this part. Now, with the nether brick starting on the right side of these two black holes. So from there, we're just going to be adding one nether brick. That's one. And then once you've done that, starting on top of the right block this time. So starting from the right, this time on top, we're going to be adding two nether bricks going up. So that's one, two. Next, we're going to be switching back over to the black hole, starting on top of this nether brick here. So from there, we're going to be adding two blocks going up. That's one, two. And now starting underneath the nether brick, so from there, we're going to be adding two black holes going down. So that's one, two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two black holes going diagonal down to the left. So two diagonal, that's one and two. And once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the light gray wall. And we're going to be filling in this small single space that's right here with the light gray. Fill that with light. Then switch over to the redstone, and we're going to be filling in this empty space right here with the redstone, so let's fill this in with red. There we go. Then once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to head back up here. We're going to switch over to the black wool. And starting on top of the two nether bricks I had your place going up, we're just going to be adding one black wool on top of it, so that's one. Then you're going to be placing one black wool going up to the left, that's one. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the nether brick. And in between these two black holes here, that we have this one, and then this one over here to the left. So in between it, with the nether brick, so from there, we're going to be adding two nether bricks going down, so that's one, two. And then on the bottom block on the left side, so from there, we're just going to be adding one nether brick, so that's one. And it should look like that. Next, we're just going to switch over to the snow block, and with the snow block, we're going to start from the bottom block of these two. Now the bricks again, this time on the right side, so from there we're going to be adding one snow block, so that's one. And now starting underneath this snow block, we're going to be adding two blocks going to the left, so that's one and two. Now once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the, let's see, uh, placement block. Now on the left side of these two snow blocks, so from there we're going to be adding two placements going to the left, that's one, two. And now switch over to the redstone, and add one redstone underneath the left block of these two placements. So add one block there. So it should look exactly like this. So let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks. And now we're going to be switching back over to the black wool. Now with the black wool underneath the redstone, we're going to be adding one black wool. So that's one. And now switch back over to the redstone, and we're going to be adding one redstone on each side, on each of the remaining sides, which is three. So one on the left, one on the right, and one underneath. So it should look exactly like this. And then when it looks exactly like this, we're going to be switching over to the black wool. And with the black wool, we're going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces that are right here. Only right here. I'm not talking about the one over there on the right. Just right here. Which is three. So let's fill in these, these spaces with black. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like that. So now let's go back over here to the right. And it almost looks like a Pokeball if you look at it. Just a very weird looking one. 
All right, so let's come back over here to the right. Now you can't get the image of Pokeball out of your mind, now that I mentioned it. All right, so let's go back over here to the right, and what we're going to be doing is switching over to the gray wall, and we're going to head back over here to these two black walls that we have here going up. On top of it, we're just going to be adding one gray wall, so that's one. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the stone block, and with the stone block starting on the right side of the gray, we're going to be adding three stones going to the right, so that's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing one stone block going down to the right. That's one. And now we're going to be switching over to the light gray wool. Now with the light gray wool underneath the one stone block, so from there, starting from there, we're going to be adding four light grays going to the left. So that's one, two, three, four. And now that we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the white wool. Now with the white wool, we're going to head back down here to the left. Going back to this one black wool, the right side of it, so from there, we're going to be placing two whites going to the right. So that's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And from this one white, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. So that's one and two. Once you've done that, you're going to move over here to the left, and we're only going to be filling in this single space here. Only this one space here with the white. So fill this in with white. Once you've done that, switch over to the light gray wool. And we're only going to be filling in this space that's right here with the light gray. So fill this in with light gray. Then when you, once you've done that, you're going to be switching back over to the black wool. You're going to be filling in these three single empty spaces right here, along with this other empty space up here with the black wool. So just fill in the remaining empty spaces with black. Let's fill that up. All of this, there we go. And when you're done filling it in, it should look exactly like this. So go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing next is... What I'm going to do, actually, is just make some room. I'm going to take every single block that I have here and just move it one up into the inventory. So I don't have to mess around and look for it later. So I'm just going to keep all of this like this. And what we're going to do next is switch over to the oak plank. And we're also going to be needing the black wall for this next part as well. So now that I have all the blocks that I need pretty much in this row right here, I'll just come back to it next. All right, so we're going to switch over to the oak planks. And what we're going to be doing is filling in this empty space that's right here. You can see that this is just one single empty space. Take a good look at it. It's just one single empty space. And we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the oak plank. So let's go ahead and just do that now. Just fill in this empty space with the oak Staying within the outline. There we go, just go up and down. And when you're done filling it in with the oak plank, it should look like this. So what we're going to be doing now that we're completely done with the right side of his face, all that's left is the left side, and then we'll just do the large filling in of the space, and then we'll be done. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing first is with the oak planks, we're going to head over here to... Oh, actually, not with the oak planks. Let's make this a little easier. Let's switch over to the black wool. We're going to head and f head over and find these uh, 13 oak planks that we have here. We're going to start on top of the 13, so starting from there. We're going to be adding four black wools going up. That's one, two, three, four. And once we've done that, we're going to start from the bottom block of these four. So from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two. And then we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And it should look like that. Now we're going to head back up here, going back to the four black holes we had going up, starting from the top block. So from there, we're going to be placing three blocks going up on the left. So that's one, two, three. Next, you're going to be switching over to the oak planks, and with the oak planks, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. Two sets of twos, so that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. And now we're going to move back over here. Let's switch over to the sand block for just a moment. And with the sand block, we're going to head back to the three black holes we had going up on the left. Starting on top of it, we're going to be adding one sand block. So that's one. And now starting on top of this sand block, so from there, we're going to be adding two blocks going to the left. So that's one, two. 
Now, once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the black wall. Now, with the black wall, we're going to head back up here, back to that one oak plank. On the left side of it, we're going to be adding four black walls going to the left. That's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to be placing eight blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's head back over here to the right, get rid of that placement block. And then we're going to head back over here, going back to that very same one oak plank from where we started. Underneath the, uh, well, just underneath it. So from there, we're just going to be placing one black wall, so that's one. Next, we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. And now you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now, once you've done that, you're going to quickly switch over to the oak planks. And we're only going to be filling in two empty spaces. And so look carefully. We're going to be filling in this space right here along with this space right here with the oak planks. So just fill in only those two. Only those two. So it should look like that. Now, we're uh, remaining with the oak planks in your hand. We're going to head back over here, back to the four black walls. We're going to start on top of the left block of the four. So starting from there, we're going to be adding two oak planks going to the right. So that's one, two. Once you've done that, starting from the left block of these two. So from there, we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing two sets of... Or not two. We're going to be placing three sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back up here. And we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. And it should be making contact with these eight black holes that we have there. And now that we have that, we're going to be switching over to the black wall. Now with the black wall, we're going to be filling in the empty spaces, which is a total of three. So we're going to be filling in these three empty spaces here with the black wall. So let's go ahead and do that now. Just fill in these empty spaces with the black. And there we go. Just filling all of that in. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now, what we're going to be doing is, let's see, we're going to be switching over to the oak planks. Let's just get this oak plank business done with first. We're going to head all the way back down here. Let's go back to that one black wall that I had you place going down to the left from these two uh, black holes that we had going down. Starting from the one black wall on the left side of it, so from there, we're going to be adding seven blocks going up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll fly back, back, just back a bit, and you can see that it should look exactly like this. So let's head back down here. Now, starting from the bottom block of these seven, so starting from there, we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three. Next, we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now from this one, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. Once you've done that, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the left. So three diagonal, that's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those placements, head back down here. And from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. So that's one and two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal down to the left. So four diagonal, that's... One, two, three, and four. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back down here. And for me, we're going to be placing two sets of threes going up on the left. That's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. And one, two, three. 
Or I should say, what is wrong with me? Two sets of threes, not three sets of threes, Felix. All right, let me fly back a bit so you can see that it should look like this. That's two sets of threes, not three sets of threes. So again, just a little recap. We had one, two, three, that was one. And one, two, three, that was two. So again, it should look exactly like this. Okay, so let's go back up here. Now from here, we're going to be placing two sets of fours going up on the left. That's one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. Let's get rid of those placements. Head back up here. Now from here, we're going to be placing nine, yeah, nine blocks going up on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's head all the way back down, get rid of the placement block. We're going to head back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. Now from this one block, we're going to be placing two, or not two. From this one block, we're going to be placing five sets of twos going up on the left. That's one, two, one, one, two, two. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, and 1, 2, 5. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks now. And we're going to head back up here. And we're going to switch over to the black wool now. Now with the black wool, starting from the top block of these two, so starting from the top on the right, so from there, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's 1, 2, and 3. Next, we're going to be placing 12 blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And it should be making contact with the four black walls that we had here going across. So we're going to head back over here to the left, get rid of the placement block, and while we're here to the left, we're going to go back up here, and we're going to be filling in this single empty space here with the black walls. Just fill in with black. So it looks like this. And now we're going to head back over here to the right. Going back to the right block of the 12. So from here, we're going to be placing four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing five blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, three, four, and five. And it should be making contact with the top block of the seven black wolves, or not, seven oak planks that we had here going across, or across. Jesus Christ, what the hell is wrong with me? Alright, so we had five blocks going diagonal, making contact with the top block of the seven oak planks that we had going up, up. She, apparently Felix's brain isn't working today. Sorry about that. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing next is we're going to switch over to the oak planks. Do we need the oak planks? Uh, yeah, why not? We can do this now. So we don't get confused later on when we're filling in some other stuff. So, starting from this very same area here, we're going to be filling in this entire empty space right here, including these other three empty spaces up here. Fill all of this here with the oak planks. So let's go and just fill this in with oak. There we go. Just to make sure we don't confuse it for any of the eye parts. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this. So what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be switching over to the gray wool. So let's we're going to be doing the, the, the stuff now. Let's put away the sand for now. And we're going to put away the oak planks. We're done with the oak planks for now, not the time lapse. Uh, we're going to be here for the time lapse. So now let's switch all. Yeah, let's go ahead and switch to every single block now. All of these blocks here. And what we're going to be doing with the gray wool first, we're going to head back up here, going back to the four black wools we had going across, starting underneath the right block of the four. So from there, we're just going to be adding one gray wool. So that's one. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching back over to the black wool. Starting on the left side of this gray, we're going to be adding one black wool. So that's one. And underneath this gray wool, so from there, we're going to be adding five black wools going down. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one and two. Let's go rid of those placements. 
And now we're going to be switching over to the light gray wall, and we're going to be placing, starting from this block here, the very last black wall, on the right side of it. So from there, we're going to be adding one light gray, so that's one. Now, once you've done that, switch back over to the black wall on the right side of this light gray. So from there, we're going to be adding four black walls going to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the white wall, and with the white, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And now to close this off, we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. Now we're going to be filling in only this single space right here. Only one space, which is this. Fill this in with the white. So there we go. It should look like this. Once you've done that, switch over to the stone block. We're going to head up here to the very top, top left corner of this small space right here. So up here, underneath this black wall. You're going to be placing one stone. So that's one. Next, switch over to the light gray wall, and we're going to be filling in these two empty spaces here with the light gray wall. So fill this and this with light gray, and everything should look exactly like this when you're done filling that in. Now we're going to be switching over to the black wall. Now with the black walls, we're going to start underneath the light gray wall. So from there, we're going to be adding six blocks going to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing five blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. So again, it should look exactly like this. Okay, so now that we've gotten that done, what we're going to be doing next is... Let's see, just to close off this outline. We're going to head back to these five black walls. So going back to these five black walls, we're going to start on top of the right block of the five. So starting from there, we're just going to be putting a placement block. So just put a placement block there, top of the right. Switch over to the black wall. We're going to be adding one black wall on the left side of the placement. So put one black wall there on the left. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement block. So it should look like that. Now from this one black wall, we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. Next, we're going to be placing four blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three, four. And once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, and two. And it should look exactly like this. Now we're going to be switching over to the gray wool, and starting from the very last black wool that we place up here, on the left side of it, we're going to be placing one gray wool, so that's one. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the stone block, and with the stone block... Just give me a second, there we go. On the left side of the gray, so from there we're going to be adding three stones going to the left. That's one, two, three. Now you're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now we're going to be switching over to the light gray wall. And starting underneath the stone block, we're going to be adding two light grays going down. So that's one and two. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the white wall, starting from the bottom block on the right side of these two. So from the bottom on the right, right there, we're going to be adding two whites going to the right. So that's one, two. Next, starting underneath the right block, or not, starting underneath the two light rays. Again, this time underneath it, so from there, we're going to be adding four blocks going diagonal down to the right. So four diagonal, that's one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the light gray wall. And we're going to be filling in this small empty space that's right here with the light gray. So right here, fill this in with light gray. So one. Now, once you've done that, we're going to head all the way back up here. And this empty space up here, right here, gets filled in with the light gray. Fill some with light. Then we're going to go back down here. And we're going to be switching over to the white. Now, we're only going to be filling in two empty spaces with the white wall. So, it's this what, this space right here, and this space right here with the white. So, fill this and this with white. So, it should look like that. And now, we're going to be switching over to the black wall, and this entire empty space over here to the left, including that one small space right there, gets filled in with the black wall. So, fill all of that in with black. And... Apparently, I got startled there in the middle of uh, filling in that white and light gray. 
because I got a Snapchat message. My phone just vibrated like crazy. I forgot that I put it next to me on the desk. I don't know if you heard that buzzing sound. That was just my phone vibrating going, Brrr, new Snapchat. All right, so what we're going to be doing next is, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're going to switch over to the, we're going to start off with the nether brick. In fact, give me a second. I'm going to take off my phone off off my desk so Snapchat doesn't go crazy again. All right, so what we're going to do is switch over to the uh, nether brick. Now, with the nether brick, we're going to go back over here to the 12 black walls that we had going across. We're going to start underneath the right block. So from there, we're going to be adding two nether bricks going down. So that's one, two. Now, starting from the bottom block on the right side, we're going to be placing one nether brick. That's one. And now we're going to be switching over to the snow block, and we're going to be adding one snow block on the right side of the nether brick. So what? One snow block there. And now starting underneath the snow, so from there, we're going to be adding two snows going to the left. That's one, two. Once you've done that, switch back over to the nether brick, and starting on the right side of these two, sto uh, two snow blocks, so from there, we're going to be adding two nether bricks going down. So that's one, two. Now we're going to be switching over to the black wool and add one black wool underneath these two nether bricks. So add one black wool there. And then switch over to the redstone. And with the redstone starting underneath the black, so from there we're going to be placing two reds going to the left. That's one and two. Next you're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now we're going to be placing one nether brick going down to the left. That's one. Next, we're going to be switching over to the redstone and add one redstone underneath the nether brick. So that's one. And now we're going to be filling in this empty space right here with the redstones. Fill this in with red. There we go. So it should look like this. Once you've done that, we're going to switch over to the black wool. Now, with the black wool, we're going to head down here to this redstone and this nether brick. Starting from this redstone down here on the left side of it, so from there, we're going to be adding two black wools going up. So that's one, two. That's one, two, like this. Next, we're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the left. So four diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three, and four. Let's get rid of the placements. And now we're going to switch back over to the redstone, and we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the redstones. So fill this in with red. So it should look like that. Now, once you've done that, we're going to be switching back over to the nether brick. Now, with the nether brick, we're going to start on top of this one black wall that was part of the four blocks that we placed. So starting from there, we're going to be placing two nether bricks going to the right. So that's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So two diagonal up to the right. That's one and two. Let's go to the placement. And now we're going to be filling in these two empty spaces here with the... Another brick. So fill this and this with another brick. So everything should look exactly like this. Now what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the placement block. Now with the placement block, let's head back over here to the two snow blocks that we had going across. We're going to start on the left side of it. So starting from there, we're going to be adding two placements going to the left. That's one, two. Next, switch back over to the redstone and add one redstone underneath this uh, placement. So put one redstone there. Now let's go ahead and get rid of the placements, and switch over to the black wool, and add one black wool underneath the redstone, so that's one. Then we're going to be switching back over to the redstone, and we're going to be adding one redstone on each side of this black wool. So one on the right, one on the left, and one underneath. So it should look exactly like this. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. Because once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the black wool. Now with the black wool, we're going to be filling in the remaining empty space that's right here. Of his eye, fill all of this in with the black wool. So let's go ahead and just fill this in with the black. And then once you've done that, it should look exactly like this. And we're pretty much done with the pixel art. All that remains now is filling his empty, large empty spaces that we left behind of his face with blocks. So let's get rid of all of these blocks right now. The only thing you're going to need in your inventory is the sand block and the oak planks. So that's the only thing you need right now in your inventory. So with the sand block, I'm just going to uh, show you what you need to fill in with the sand first, and then you can go ahead and fill in the oaks. So let's go over here. You can see the left eye that we just finished making left on the left side of the pixel art. This empty space right here, 
It's not that large compared to the other large empty spaces, but this empty space that's underneath his eye right here gets filled in with the sand block. Now, once you've filled this in with the sand, you're going to go over here to the right, and you can see, I'll fly back a bit, you can see that this nose outline right here of the shadow is kind of like the crossing point. You're not going to cross over this outline. See, it even goes there. So everything over here to the right, staying within the outline. So all of this over here, all of this, his right side is made out of sand. And then over here to the left, you're going to switch over to the oak planks, and the left side is made out of the oak planks. So everything on the left side except this empty space, which is why I want you to fill this spot right here. Fill this in with the sand first, and then move, move over here to the right. Fill in this empty space with sand, this large space. And then fill in the remaining empty space on the left with the oak plank. So go ahead and do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Well, there you guys have it. A Minecraft pixel art tutorial on how to make Shisui Uchiha from Naruto Shippuden. Of course, make sure to take a picture of it, tweet it at me, send it to me over Instagram, tag me in it so I can go ahead and see it, like it, favorite it, and share it, and do all that fun stuff that you guys know that I normally do. And I also want to mention, if you guys are on the Xbox uh, One edition for Minecraft, I'll go ahead and show you real quick, that uh, I have an Xbox party thing. There goes the, the phone again. But yeah, I have a Xbox Club party for Pixel Arts started a while back, but uh, since most of you didn't really have it, you guys are actually starting to share stuff in this club. So by all means, go ahead. If you've got an Xbox uh, One edition of Minecraft, uh, send me a message or send me a request. Hit me up on the uh, public club that's called Felix Guam and YT Pixel Arts. So by all means, if you have the Xbox One edition, I'm going to go ahead and start doing my best to advertise it because... Uh, most of you didn't really have the clubs section available on the Xbox One. That was kind of like for preview members and whatnot, which I had uh, early on. But now it looks like a lot of people, if not all of the people on Xbox One, now have access to the club section when it comes to Minecraft. So that, all right. So with all of that being said, make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft pixel art tutorials like this, and just make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.